everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with a Scrapping for Less design team project, and the one that I wanted to do was the Flamingo stamp that's in the recent Scrapping for Less card kit. At the time that I did the reveal, I didn't have the stamp set, which is okay, because I knew I was going to get it. And once I did and saw it, I just knew that this had to be my first design team project for this month. I keep saying design team project. So what I did, I grabbed a piece of my Canton XL Bristol um, cardstock because I want to play with my Zig Clean Real Brush markers. I haven't played with them in a while, so I had to pull them out. So I'm going to start off with my sentiment, and the sentiment says, birds of a feather celebrate together. What I like is you have large and small fonts with this stamp set. So you get a great, uh, you get multiple choices with it. Now, after you're going to see, I'm going to do a lot of stamping just to set this up. So every time I'm stamping, I am using my VersaFine ink. And then after I use my ink, I'm going to use my clear embossing powder to heat set that. Because when I work with my, my zigs or a watercolor medium, I do like to have that barrier. But we'll get into that more because I do actually show the coloring. I created some masks for my balloons because I wanted to stamp these balloons along the bottom of my panel so that I can use all kinds of bright um, colors. When it comes to the balloons so i'm actually going to make it look like my uh, flamingos are coming up from the balloons and celebrating so after i have them cut out i'm going to set them down now i haven't set my clear embossing powder yet i'm just stamping and i'm lightly putting them down because now i'm going to put another row within the three that i've already stamped and then i'll remove those and I will have used my clear embossing powder and heat set that. So I grabbed the two flamingos and what's great, they're separate. So you can either use one or have both of them facing each other, which is what I chose to do. And then they're gonna be, as I said, coming out of the balloon. So I'm making sure my masks are in the areas because we're not gonna see their feet. Their feet are gonna be kind of like in behind that. So now that I have everything stamped and embossed, now I'm just gonna come in with my zigs. I chose all the bright colors um, that were in my set. And all I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit of the color on one side and I'm gonna pull it out with my aqua brush. Now I'm not gonna show you all of the balloons because there's a lot of balloons going on there, uh, but you can see I'm focusing on one side or maybe towards the bottom. And then again, I'm just pulling it out with my aqua brush. If I feel I have too much water coming from my aqua brush, that's why I have my terry cloth towel there. I'm just tapping against that to remove some of the water. Again, when I do use my zigs, I do like to have the embossed area. It's like a, a barrier. I am not a watercolorist. Um, I am learning. I'm kind of, you know, doing little things here and there, um, but I do like to have that barrier. It's my comfort zone right now. So you can see I skipped some balloons there because I don't like to, even though I've got the barrier, I don't like to work next to each other. And you can see with my flamingos, I use the color straight. I didn't add my watercolor brush because you can actually blend with these zig markers which is wonderful so i've got that pink peachy shade going on there with the two colors that i chose i use some teal or aqua for their hats and then of course i wanted to use orange for their bills um now i'm just going back and filling in with my balloons and having some fun there, just making them nice and colorful. I did, I did make a boo-boo, which of course I always pull out my boo-boos. Um, I forgot to treat my Bristol paper with my anti-static tool. And I'm finding, you know, I'm getting better with that um, because I'm like, oh, you know, why would I need it? Well, you know, you really do. Because you can see with that one purple balloon there that there's little tiny white flecks, which is okay because they can be highlights or something like that. But that's actually the clear embossing powder 
that didn't come off of my cardstock because I did not treat it the way that I should have. So, I mean, you if you don't have one, that's fine. Um, but it is something to have in your arsenal when it comes to card making. You don't have to have everything. I am one of those people that do. Um, but that is one of the staples, you know, scissors, acrylic blocks. It, it's one of those types of staples. So you can see I'm just finishing up filling in um, my balloons. I'm getting, you know, a little daring there. Some of them are not dry and it's okay. You can see that that embossed line from the clear embossing powder with the versifying ink is holding back those colors and they're not merging. My sentiment was kind of up there and yes, sentiments can float. We don't have to ground them, but I just wanted to put something behind it. So I used my aqua color and I just really heavily doused it with some water and I spread that around so that could stand out. And I saw a mistake that was on my beak and since it was still wet, I was able to pick it up with my towel and I was able to fill it back in. So that's what our card looks like. We are back to regular speed now. That other one was four times the speed. I pulled a piece of cardstock from one of the collections of the card kit um, called the Escape to Paradise, the Bow Bunny Collection. I had to have the pad. They are available at Scrapping for Less, so please check it out. There will be links below, absolutely. And I just had to have the one with the palm trees, and I thought the color that that was on matched perfectly with my two flamingos that I had. I grabbed my white gel pen to just add a highlight to each of my balloons. So I'm just adding a little bit of a line on each of them, and I'm going to accent them that way. So that is our card. Again, this was a Scrapping for Less design team project. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do. You don't want to miss all of the other videos that are coming out real soon with some fabulous designers. If you should have any questions or comments, leave those down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And by all means, all the links will be available down below in the video description if you want to check out their shop with all of their wonderful products that are available or maybe you're interested in subscribing to their kit. I hope everyone's having a great day and a great weekend. Hope you're not getting hit too much by these storms, but always remember what's most important for me. Always be creative.